Hey guys, what's up? Double Wide Six, and uh, today in the vise, I have this. Uh, it's a G dishwasher motor, and you hear that noise? That's kind of the noise that my dishwasher is making. It sounded kind of like a grinding noise, and I wound up uh, just getting a used pump off eBay because I found a pump and motor together. Um, I think it's actually one part, but it was only like 20 bucks. So I just did that where the part from GE was about 120. So uh, I'm going to show you the noise that it makes by plugging this thing in. It's just 120 volt. It's got a little capacitor. So uh, I have it actually pigtailed up and I'll turn this thing on for you. And that's the grinding sound that it makes. So in today's video, we're just going to do a little investigation as to why it's making that noise. So uh, I'm just going to pull these screws out of here. And uh, I don't know if this thing actually lets you disconnect the pump mechanism from the motor. My guess is... It doesn't because they sell the whole thing as one part. But we'll see if it's locked on here or not. Yeah, if you look, that thing's not coming off here. So we're going to use a little force and pop this thing off. Well, like I said, it's not made to pop off of here. But. We'll try and get it off. I don't want to bend the motor shaft. Things are really on there. I think we're going to have to try a different method. Method two requires safety glasses and persuasion. And uh, method two seems to be pretty good so far. Let's try method two over here. All right, we'll do a little further investigating. So here's what we have um, with the motor part. Um, originally when I was working on the dishwasher, I could see the back of the shaft in the motor and I would see this spinning nice and true. And <clears throat> I could reach in through the top of the dishwasher and I could feel this little blade when this thing was off and I'd wobble it to see if there was any play or a blown bearing. And I couldn't feel any wobble. And then uh, every once in a while the dishwasher would start making that grinding noise so right now when I look at this thing there is no play whatsoever and everything looks like super smooth so we'll, we'll plug this in and we'll see uh, if this runs true and if that runs true then we'll know um, our problem dealt with these two pieces so let's just check that Oh yeah, that sounds nice. So that's spinning true as can be. I think I'm pretty sure I know what the problem is. So if we take a look at the way this thing worked is when this shaft spins, you can see this, this really hard brown plastic spins. And to prevent wobble, they use this piece of uh, stainless steel here. It has a little bit of a lip on it and that will actually go inside there and that kind of works as a bearing to help support everything and then this covers it up and you can see that this thing locks in here like that well I think there may have been two things happening number one I think this was spinning until it hit these pegs that lock it in place so you may hear some rattling from that and secondly I think this inner ring on this thing is worn down 
and there's some play in here so I can wobble this I mean not quite probably not even a 32nd of an inch but there is definitely some some play there and um, I think between that and this thing uh, bumping against these these uh, pegs dogs that catch it in place that you're hearing some vibration or some rattling so um, pretty sure that's that was what my problem was alright guys so I'm double wide six hopefully you enjoyed the video um, I'm gonna put a, a link to my security bit set with the long extension that I use to take off uh, those deep screws to get in there to get them off so uh, anyhow you can click on the link it will be in the description of the video and as always thanks for watching